Football Facts Presence Best Starting Eleven Coming Through Borussia Dortmund's Youth Academy Goalkeeper Eichemel Immel became the first choice for Dortmund at the age of 17. He stayed at the club for eight seasons until Stuttgart transferred him in 1986. At the time he had become the most expensive goalkeeper in German football. With Stuttgart he won the Bundesliga in 1992 and was also runner-up of the UEFA Cup in 1989. In 1995 he joined Manchester City where he retired after two seasons. With West Germany he played 19 times and participated in two World Cups and three European Championships. He won the European Championship of 1980 and was runner-up in the World Cups of 1982 and 1986. Center back. Wolfgang Paul. Wolfgang Paul spent his whole career with the club. In 1961 at the age of 21 he made his debut and in 1963 he won his first trophy which was the German Championship. In 1965 he won the German Cup and in 1966 he captained Dortmund on the Cup Winners Cup success against Liverpool. In 1966 he was chosen for the World Cup where West Germany finished as runners-up. He never gained an international cap for his country though. In 1971 at the age of 31 he was forced to retire due to a serious injury. Centre-back Antonio Rudiger Rudiger spent three years on the academy of Borussia Dortmund but never played at senior level for the club. At the age of 18 he joined Stuttgart where he made his first steps. In 2015 at the age of 22 he joined Roma where he stayed for two seasons. His good performances caught the attention of big European clubs and in the summer of 2017 he was signed by Chelsea. On the FA Cup final in 2018 he was named as man of the match as Chelsea won Manchester United 1-0 and lifted the trophy. With Germany he won the Confederations Cup in 2017 and participated in the 2018 World Cup. Right back Kevin Grossgrotes Grossgrotz was born in Dortmund and spent his youth on many of the local academies including the one of Borussia. In 2003 he left the team and joined the academy of Rottweiss Allen and three years later at the age of 18 made his senior debut. In 2009 he returned to Borussia where he won two Bundesliga titles and one cup. He was also runner-up of the Champions League in 2013. His career however took a downfall by 2015 and after spells with Galatasaray and Stuttgart, he played on the second and third division in Germany. At international level he played six games for Germany and won the World Cup in 2014. Left back Marcel Schmelzer At the age of 30, Schmelzer is still playing for Borussia Dortmund. He joined the academy of the club in 2005 when he was 17 and made his professional debut in 2008. So far he won the Bundesliga title twice and the FA Cup twice and was also runner-up for the Champions League in 2013. He also captained the team between 2016 and 2018. With Germany he played 16 games and participated in the European Championship of 2012. Defensive midfielder Miroslav Votava Born in Czechoslovakia, Votava's family left the country during the Prague Spring in 1968 and located in Witten of West Germany. During his first years he joined the academy of the local club VfL Witten but in 1973 at the age of 17 he joined Borussia. After one season on the youth side he made his debut as the team was playing on the second division. He gradually became one of the best players of the team and rarely missed a game. In 1982 he joined Atletico Madrid where he helped the team to win the Copa del Rey in 1985. At the end of that season he returned in Germany but this time for Werder Bremen. He was one of the key members of the team, as Werder won two Bundesliga titles, two German Cups and one Cup Winners' Cup. He left the club in January of 1997 at the age of 41 and retired after six months with Oldenburg. At international level he preferred to represent West Germany where he won the European Championship in 1980. Central midfielder Lars Ricken In 1994, before even turning 18 he made his debut for Borussia. 
During the next two seasons, Ricken became a regular as Dortmund won back-to-back -back Bundesliga titles. In 1997, Dortmund reached the final of the Champions League for the first time. Ricken was on the bench and entered the field on a 70th minute. 16 seconds later he scored an amazing goal which sealed the victory on the final 3-1 win against Juventus. During the next seasons he suffered many injuries. He restored his form in 2002 as he won his third Bundesliga. He was also selected for the 2002 World Cup as Germany finished as runners-up. He suffered more injuries during the next years and finished his career in 2007 at the age of 31. In 2008 he became youth coordinator of Borussia, a position he still has. Central midfielder Michael Zork Zork spent his whole career with the club and he is considered as one of the most important players in the history of Borussia. He made his debut in 1981 and between 1988 and 1998 he was the captain of the team. He holds the record for the most appearances for Dortmund and he is the third all-time top scorer despite being a midfielder. He is also the longest serving captain. During his career he won the Bundesliga twice, the Cup once, the Champions League once and the Intercontinental Cup once. Immediately after the end of his career in 1998 he became the director of football of Borussia, a position he still holds. Under this position, the club won three Bundesliga titles and two German Cups. Dortmund also finished as runner-up of both the UEFA Cup and the Champions League. Right winger Mario Goetze Capable of playing in all attacking positions, Goetze joined the academy of Borussia Dortmund at the age of 8. He made his debut in November of 2009 at the age of 17 and by next season he was regular. He helped the team to win two Bundesliga titles and one German Cup and also reached the Champions League final in 2013. At the end of that season he joined Bayern Munich for 37 million euros where he won three straight Bundesliga titles, two Cups, one UEFA Super Cup and one Club World Cup. In 2016 he returned to Dortmund where he won one more German Cup. With Germany he played 63 games so far and scored 17 goals. In 2014 he scored the winner against Argentina on the World Cup final as his national team lifted its fourth trophy. He also participated in the European Championships of 2012 and 2016. Left winger Lothar Emmerich Emmerich started his career with Dortmund in 1960 at the age of 19. He was capable of playing as winger and as striker. His favorite position was that of the left winger but due to the fact that he was prolific in front of goal his coaches were often using him as striker. He stayed at the club until 1969 and he is the fourth all-time top scorer for Borussia. He won the Bundesliga once, the Cup once and the Cup Winners' Cup once. He was also the top scorer in Bundesliga twice. During his later stages of his career he played in Belgium for Bergeot where he was the top scorer of the top division once. He also spent time in Austria and the lower divisions of Germany. With West Germany he only participated on the 1966 World Cup. He was on the starting lineup for most of the games as his team finished as runners-up. Forward Marco Reus The current captain of Borussia Dortmund spent almost his whole youth career with the club. In 2006 at the age of 17 he joined the academy of Rottweissalen where he would make his professional debut one year later. In 2009 he joined Bundesliga side Gladbach and had three amazing seasons. In summer of 2009 Royce returned to Dortmund for around 17 million euros. He helped the team to reach the Champions League final but his side lost 2-1 against Bayern Munich. So far he has won one German Cup and one Super Cup. He also won several personal achievements like the best footballer in Germany and the best Bundesliga player. He was also named on the team of the season for five consecutive seasons. With the national team he was unlucky so far. He participated in the European Championship of 2012 but due to an injury missed the 2014 World Cup which Germany won. He also missed the 2016 European Championship for the same reason. He finally played in a World Cup in 2018 but the performance of Germany was poor.
how can you compare the Youth Academy of Borussia Dortmund to those of Bayern Munich and Schalke? Tell us your opinions below. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our work. Thanks for watching.